We've discussed the synchronization of pulses in connection to symmetrical interference patterns in time structures week A4. Now I'd like to describe some further developments of the synchronization process described in Schillinger's book Mathematical Basis of the Arts, Chapter 3. MathBart, as I'll call it, attempts to describe all art forms in terms of Schillinger's theories, and so much of it is devoted to the application of techniques to the visual arts. In dealing with music, MathBart frequently duplicates large sections of the text found in the Schillinger system of musical composition. But sometimes this isn't the case, and important ideas that do not appear in the Schillinger system can be found in MathBot. One of these corners concerns further development of the concept of synchronization, of not just pulses, but longer patterns, entire series or polynomials or phrases of rhythms. In addition, this kind of large-scale synchronization is combined with the use of coefficients. This extra information offers insights into extending the influence of a short phrase or a motive and of combining apparently unconnected rhythmic ideas. You'll find the relevant section of math part as a PDF in this week's StudyNet folder. The process depends on two routines. The first, finding the common product of two or more patterns, and the second, using coefficients to control the extension of the various groups. On page 129 of MathBart, we're introduced to the second of these ideas. A small fragment, 2 plus 1, is synchronized with itself using the coefficients 3 to 4. Here we have a ratio usually associated with the interference pattern 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3. But the generators are now being applied to a fragment rather than directly to one another. Each generator is applied to the fragment twice, first to scale the fragment and then to determine the quantity of its repetitions. First, the fragment is scaled by the larger generator. Then it's repeated according to the minor generator. Next, the fragment is scaled by the smaller generator and then repeated according to the larger generator. Clearly, the new extensions are greatly enlarged compared to the original fragment. Their length is determined by the sum of the fragment multiplied by the sum of the coefficients. They are equal in their total duration, 
and manifest the proportions 2 plus 1, but at different levels of scaling. When the extended versions of the fragment are synchronized with one another, they produce a new pattern, rich in variety of duration and not symmetrical. In effect, the fragment is a third generator, 2 plus 1 equals 3, and so in this example the ratio of generators becomes 4 to 3 to 3, or 4 times 3 times 3, which accounts for the total duration of 36 time units. You can probably see that the durations of rhythms produced in this way can quickly become very long, and some kind of software calculator is clearly the best way of proceeding. On page 141 of MathBart, Schillinger shows how this technique can be used to synchronize a motive with itself through various coefficients. On page 145, two completely different patterns are synchronized with one another. This is achieved first by equalizing their duration and then synchronizing the adjusted patterns. To equalize the patterns, the duration of each becomes a generator of a ratio. After scaling, the total of each new pattern will be greatly extended and the total duration of both patterns will be 21 times 10 or 210 time units. Now the two patterns can be synchronized to create a new resultant. Of course the original patterns can also be used in sequence or simultaneously and it won't have escaped your notice that there is a second consequence of interference here. As we've seen in time structures A7 in addition to the extended scaled up version, there will also be a resultant pattern containing many short durations achieved by synchronizing multiple repetitions of the two original patterns. Thank you.